Hey everyone, so earlier this year I did a video doing a basic overview of how my home emergency standby generator works. Now with all the storms and craziness we've had in this country this year, a lot of people have been asking me to do a simulated power outage, basically showing how the system will work when it's uh, basically in automatic mode, but instead I'm just going to do it manually to simulate a power outage. Uh, now to just do a basic overview of how the system works, the larger pipe on the left is the utility power that normally powers the house. The small one on the right is the emergency standby generator power. It comes into this box that has the automatic transfer switch in it. It then routes power down into the service panel and then powers the whole thing. That's one of the major advantages to this system compared to something like a manual transfer switch with a portable generator is not only is this system 100% automated, but I didn't have to do a sub panel and pick and choose which circuits to go with. This will comfortably power the entire house. Even with the air conditioner running, I've had some extended power outages in the hot weather, AC's running, lights are on, TV, all systems are working and no problem. Everything was running uh, perfectly fine. So anybody who's familiar with electric, typically you're gonna have a main breaker for the house. This is a 200 amp service panel. Uh, this 200 amp service will manually pull the system off of utility power. And when the automatic transfer switch detects that, it will then start the system to go to emergency backup, fire the generator and repower the house again. So basically the one in the service panel becomes redundant at that point. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to switch this off. The system's going to detect that and it's going to, like I said, start the process. Now I have my generator on a slight delay itself of I believe five seconds for the generator. So that way if I get a power outage for a second or two, the generator's not trying to jump on for a really, really minor short power outage. It waits a second. And then on the opposite side of that, I have the same thing. The generator stays running for an additional three minutes after power comes back on. And if the generator has been running for a while and it's up to full temperature, it runs a cool down cycle where it brings the RPMs down slowly instead of just turning it off. Now, when I do the simulation, it's probably not going to do a cool down cycle because it's only going to run for a minute or two. It's probably just going to go for the standard three minutes and then turn off again, just in case uh, the power, the linemen are working, the, the, the electricity is coming on and off and on and off. It's not going to try to keep firing the generator uh, on and off again. It's just going to wait till power's probably on long enough where it's not going to go back out again. So let's go ahead and turn power off to the entire house. I don't know if you can hear that, but the generator just fired. It is now running. It's gonna settle and get up to operating speed. And now we are on generator power. So that is how quick it happens. Again, this was done manually. This is not normal. This system is 100% automated. The only time you ever need to do this is something like this to test the system. If you wanted to do a manual load test, which they recommend doing once or twice a year to put actual load on the generator instead of just running like a weekly cycle. So some of the electronics in the house are starting to beep and make noise because they're just coming on and off again. But we are on generator power and I'll walk a little closer to the window. You might be able to hear it. The generator is actually pretty quiet for a 20 kW system. And uh, that's it. So if I'm home, or not home and the power goes out, this does it completely on its own. And when the automatic transfer switch goes from emergency backup, which is on right now, back to utility, there is no interruption of power. The lights won't even flicker when the system goes back to normal. So I, obviously you have that little bit of power out, little bit of power outage when the system goes off and the generator is just waiting its time delay to fire up and get settled. And then I also get the push notifications to my phone that the generator is running. So that's basically how the system works. I just happened to do it manually this time. So if you're looking at a generator, have any other questions or anything else you'd like to see about the system, let me know. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.